guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Just me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Stranded. Y'all really like this VN, and I gotta admit, I do too. I'm really enjoying it so far. I've had a very stressful, very, very stressful day today, and I just want to kick back, sit back, and make some content for y'all. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you were up. And let's go. All right. <clears throat> Well, thanks for your obligation, regardless. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You sighed. This was supposed to be my vacation. And how is the vacation on the island so far? You can't help but laugh at the horrible joke. Then all of a sudden... Growl. Alright. Stomach! <laughs> a loud growl likely from a ferocious beast roared close to you. It definitely sent you on edge as you weren't prepared for it. It seemed that whatever the sound was, it caught everyone's attention. The fuck was that? It's a beast! It's a beast! What else could it be? We're gonna die! Quiet, you idiot. I'm sorry, she said with a slight whine with her hands covered her short muzzle. Shh! Everyone went dead silent, listening to the origin of the sound. Everyone's on the lookout for our surroundings. Only the sound of the campfire filled the silence. <laughs> Everyone turned towards the source of the sound. It was closer than you guys expected. Are you fucking kidding me? The growl came from none other than a certain bear among us. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Sorry, I couldn't help it. It makes my... It makes his own sounds when it demands attention. That's alright. I'm just glad it's nothing bad happened. I guess it's about time for food. Shall we see what we've got from the wreckage? Oh, yeah! Hey, Lucy, help me out a second, won't ya? Eh? Um, uh, okay. Wait, wait, I I'll help. Come on, Baru. Hmm, I'm hungry. All four of them quickly went to the stash corner and gathered as much of the salvage as they could before placing everything in front of everyone. Fortunately, in addition to a med kit, we got some canned food from a floating carton, along with some bottles of water with the flight company's logo printed onto it. Unfortunately, with the strict law applied, each bottle of water was only a sad 100, millime 100 milliliters. As Kim was counting the stock that we had, something caught my attention. I scooched closer to Kim and had a closer look. Hmm. Don't you think it's weird that this plane has canned food packed on board? I exclaimed as I rummaged through the cans that were on the ground. Now that you mention it, you do have a point. Good eyes, Ahsoka. Unexpectedly, he placed his hand on top of my head and gave a few gentle pats. Pat, pat. I blushed, trying to gather the words to reply to such a compliment. I was simply stating the obvious. <laughs> well, for whatever, well, for whatever reason, it, <clears throat> well, for whatever reason it was, let's just be glad to have some food here. It doesn't seem like we have a lot of food, though. There are seven cans of food and six bottles of water. It's more than enough for all of us for tonight. One can for each person, and an extra can for whoever still gets hungry. I said while glancing at Barrow before letting out a chuckle. What? Hey, I may be big, I may be big, but I eat the same portion as others do too, you know. Well, what are we gonna eat tomorrow then? Your meat? There is meat. Got that face. Ahsoka sounded more suggestive for some reason. Very suggestive. Eh? That was gay. <laughs> Super gay. <laughs> Wait, that's not what I meant to say though. Kim, help me out here. He's gone? Judges you. Lucy, please, your silence hurts me more than their words did. I'm gonna cry. Ben? Huh? What are you, do what are you gonna do, smart guy? Me? Bitch, where did you run off to just now? I'm talking to Ahsoka. Go mind your own business somewhere else. Eh, me? I doubt you'll want to eat the bear by sunrise, so what's your plan now? Hmm. I sat there, pondering to myself. I hand on my chin as I looked down. I'm not sure what will happen tomorrow. I guess it's better to reserve those reserve those that we have right now. How about we split the food? Two people per can. That means the other three cans could be our lunch tomorrow. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't sound right. We have seven cans of food, right? What are you going to do with the other one? If you aren't going to use it... No, Barrow. I was thinking of using the last can as a bait for fishing. Fishing? I didn't remember Owen mentioned about working as a fisherman before, so it might increase our food supply if we can get Owen to fish for us. Second now, it is water time. Hmm. 
<laughs> Not a bad idea, kid. A good leader should know how to make make good decisions. Eh? I thought Kim was the leader. It doesn't hurt to have two, said Terry while he glanced at Kim. Hmm. I was uh, never never a leader actually. You did act like one. You did act like one. And it's getting annoying. Huh. So we settled the food rationing problem. Now we have to choose a partner to share our food with. I'll start. Not with Mr. Blue Cheese here. Blue Cheese. I pick Lucy. Well, that caught everyone's attention. Eh? Well, why me? Simple answer. You're already next to me. Besides, as if I want to share anything with these nut jobs. <laughs> oh, then I guess I'll go with Owen. <laughs> well, that's good enough for me. What about you, Ahsoka? Who do you want to share with? Wait, you're making me pick? I'm not exactly forcing you, but if you don't want to, it's fine. No, I don't mind picking. Was just a little surprised is all. Well, take your time, Ahsoka. He said, smiling. Hmm, who should I pick to eat with? Oh my, oh well, oh. what's this? Notices your questionable life decisions over here. Kim. Kim. Yeah, let's pick Kim. Mind if I share with you, Kim? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't mind. Do you think half a can, uh, half of a can is too little? No, it's pretty understandable given our current situation. Don't you worry about it. You made a great suggestion, Ahsoka. He said while putting his hand on my shoulder and smiling. Huh. <sighs> Thanks, Kim. It's really reassuring to hear that. I feel much more sorry for Barrow, though. He had to deal with Terry. You will be missed, Barrow. Your sacrifice shall not be in vain. He'll be fine. Maybe. I don't sound very sure about it, though. Anyway, you can have ha you can have my half if you'd like. What? Don't be nuts. What are you supposed to eat? No, no, it'll be all right. No, I'll be all right. I can survive a night without food. Even if that's the case, it still wouldn't be fair for the others, though. <sighs> eat your half or I'll make you. All right, all right, I'll eat my half, okay? Damn, kid. He pops open a can and starts scooping the food inside with a handmade spoon. He motioned the spoon at me. Ah. Hmm? What are you doing? Oh, feeding you? Just eat it first and leave some for me? Jeez. I puffed my cheeks due to embarrassment, not even trying to look at his dumb face. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just lightening the mood. A calm mind is a clear mind. Wink. He handed over the can of food to me. Half of it was eaten already, leaving the rest for me alone. Here you go. Don't let there be any leftovers. I took hold of the can and gave him a little smile. All right. Uh, all right. I sat next to him and quietly ate my portion of the food. So, have you guys had dinner? Well, better than nothing, I guess. At least we had something for tonight. It was all right, although Owen keeps making me have his portion. Hi, I'm s I'm sorry the trouble I've caused. I'll try to be more considerate next time. Owen, are you okay? Hi, uh, I'm totally fine. Thank you for your concern. He's not fine at all. Lucy, what did you do to him? Lucy didn't say anything and smiled. S so, what do we do now? It's too dark to roam around anyway. It's too dark to roam around anyway. Let's just conserve our energy for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure we're all pretty tired. It's better to rest and be prepared for tomorrow. Yeah, sounds splendid. Keep your spot. Keep to your spots and good night. He scoffed before laying down back at his usual spot, facing away from us. I sighed and stretched, everyone getting a good spot. Distanced away from the fire, equally distanced apart and using whatever they could find they could find as pillows, rocks, wet bags salvaged from the plane, anything. Biro quickly drifted to sleep. Owen was talking to Lucy for a second before heading off, followed by Lucy. The light of the moon lit the entire island as the faint orange glow of the fire complemented the blue glow of the moon around us. Uh, you all right, Hisoka? He asked, looking at me as he laid down, several inches away from me. Yeah, I'm fine. Just taking the time to kind of process it all. Everything's just moving so quickly, and being in the situation right now feels like some bizarre fever dream. Yeah, it's hard to take in, even for me. He sighed and looked up at the night sky with me. I'm sure all of us are hoping to wake up from this. All this being a weird dream as we sit in our rooms. Yeah, if only. Oh, one second now. Water time. Oh, I smell something good in the kitchen. My 
partner is making me some, uh, is making us some Cajun, Cajun chicken? Very interested in that. I felt my chest get heavy again. My heart weighed down by the emotional weight I felt at the airport and in the plane. Good night, Kim. Sis up for the best tomorrow, all right? Yeah, good night, Ahsoka, he said before turning away and closing his eyes, falling asleep not long after. It took me a while to do the same, but I managed in the end. Ah, shit, I guess we've reached the end of it. To be continued, okay. So. All right, so what happens if you do the other people ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, we're gonna make this a full video. Let's load this and we'll go with Biro. How about you, Biro? Can I share with you? Eh? You want to share with me? I hope that half a serving is enough for you, though. If it isn't, you're welcome to take some of mine. Eh? Don't you need to eat a lot? I told you I ate the same portion as you guys would. Maybe. Oi! What do you mean, maybe? Don't mind it. Uh, maybe. You're still saying maybe. There's nothing wrong with me having a half a serving, maybe. Like I said, what do you mean, maybe? It's really fine. It's not like I want to stuff my mouth full of food. Full of food? You said full of food twice. <sighs> I am more than fine to, to have just a quarter of it, you know. Eh? Are you serious? Won't you feel hungry? I'll be fine, Barrow. Trust me. You'll be needing it more than I do. We need your strength for tomorrow, remember? So eat. I handed Barrow a can of food, which he quietly took in his paw. He gave me a distant expression that I've never seen before. At least not from him. A mixed expression of conflicted and longing. Although I didn't have the courage to mention anything about it. Barrow gorged a mouthful as soon as he got the can of food. I'm glad his appetite works just fine, even after what happened today. Not long after, he handed me, a, handed me my portion of the food. Why did you only eat half of it? I thought you were going to leave a quarter of a por portion for me. I'm already full, and... Huh? We, uh, we also need your strength for tomorrow, so, so we... Barrow looks away, hiding his face from you. I can't help but break a small smile at that. Despite his big body and his craving for food, he can be considerate sometimes. Will do, Barrow. I quietly accepted and ate my portion of food beside him. So! <clears throat> so, y have you guys had dinner? It's not a pleasant dinner, that's for sure. Well, better than nothing, I guess, at least. At least we had something for tonight. It was alright, although Owen keeps making me have his portion. Ha! Uh... Alright, so... So, what do we do now? It's too dark. <clears throat> it's too dark to roam around anyway. Let's just conserve our energy for tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sure we're all pretty tired. Alright, let's go ahead and sleep. Yep. Let's see... Alright, and we will do the other one. Load up. Fairy! One second, y'all. Water time. Can I share food with you, Terry? Oh. Is there the slightest possibility for me to reject your request? I'm starting to rethink my life choices already. Can I return to the choice box again? <laughs> Oi, don't go breaking the fourth wall as you please. <sighs> Sorry, let's redo this again. Can I share food? No. So fast! What do you mean, no? It was you that made me think of sharing our food in the first place. Fuck. Ah, fine. Whatever. Sure. That's a lot of confirmation. But on one condition, he said, lifting his hand and sticking out his pointer finger as he glared at me. And what is it? I'll eat first. I don't want you to eat your left. I don't want to eat your leftovers. Uh, help yourself, then. Terry takes one of the open cans from Kim before eating the contents of a can. After a few minutes, he handed the can over to me. Noticing that he didn't eat much of it, the can was a little more, more than a little more than half full. Hey, are you sure you've eaten enough? There's still plenty for you. I don't really have much of an appetite. Probably because I just share food with you. Seriously? I guess we'll never know. He said it before sitting down and leaning against a rock. Um, thanks? For being annoying? For food, jeez! I rolled my eyes with a disgusted groan. Huh. Enjoy yourself, you dork. You don't have to be a jerk, you know. I quickly ate, I quietly ate my portion of the food while he rested his ass on a stupid rock. Ready? Okay. All right. All right. So I guess that is it for uh, for now, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I guess that's it for stranded for now. I, we're gonna have to wait until it 
until the full version comes out, I guess, or the team gives us some kind of update. But anyway, y'all, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.